what will happen to you in the year 2024 is the question we are asking the cars today to receive the answer to this question you must pick one of these two doors here we have door number one and here we have door number two so go ahead take a moment make your selections now i will include the timestamps in the description and in the comment section for those of you that picked door number one here are your cards we have a combination of tarot cards as well as oracle but we're going to start with the tarot we've got two upright cards we've got the six of cups and we have the very powerful world card and we'll start with the world um just because it's such an important card the the, the world card signals a shift this is the end of the hero's journey the end of a cycle moving into something new now what is this newness well we have some information with the six of cups this is the card of relationships building relationships uh, building friends or making friends it could essentially it's amicable in nature it's not romantic but it can be just be talking about relationships in general and the key with this card is the child playing you know here we have someone who is completely healed this is an adult that has given into that wonder uh, and and given into that childlike energy that child archetype that's always inside of us looking to play and so when you're able to tap into that archetype you end up healing old wounds we see here a confirmation of that play in that child with all of the toys at the bottom so there's a sense here of healing yourself in order to be able to attract the right people into your life you know ultimately if we are delving into our shadows or too deeply into our shadows we end up attracting sociopaths into our lives but it seems like for this year a very important cycle's ending some kind of healing taking place that's going to attract the right people into your life and relationships. You're going to even be able to heal relationships um, that unfortunately maybe um, have not worked out for whatever reason. Now, the world doesn't just talk about relationships, right? It talks about all areas of life. We see, we see the bull, we see the lion, uh, we see the falcon or the eagle. There's a sense here of moving forward dynamically this is the card of success as well as victory so you know it can be talking about career finances anything that you've been really truly putting a lot of effort and attention into yielding some results for you in the year 2024 a very positive card the fact that we've got them both upright um just adds to that positivity but definitely a strong strong uh, indication that this is focused on relationships now let's move on to the oracle cards we have here a combination of oracles we have um re-energize in the natural world let your inner hunter or huntress take rest reads this card you know here we have a warrior and this warrior is in a position where she's ready to strike at whatever comes her way but with all of the success that she's experienced she doesn't need to do this anymore she can just kind of put down those those arrows and not have to have this kind of warrior energy uh, where it's always looking for that next battle. You know, there's a sense here with, again, the Six of Cups giving into an energy of fun, maybe even discovering that uh, child inside of you so that you can heal those old wounds that lie dormant in your shadow. Then we have a card that uh, just kind of cements that message even further. We've got a card here talking about self-care. It's not me, then who to tend to a wholeness? The parts in which surrender thy poles for a heart that's nearer than any other. The only way that you're going to be able to reach peace, true peace, is through self-care. Self-care is, it can mean many different things to, to many different people. But for me, it's balance in all areas of life. Not going to any extremes, healing old wounds. And then finally, get up is your final oracle card. No matter how far we have fallen, we must try again. All is not lost until we give up. Whatever struggles, whatever battles, get up. You are going to be victorious in 2024. So if you've had a very bad 2023, the only thing you have to do is to keep fighting, keep moving forward, keep doing what you're doing, and victory is assured with the world card. Welcome, group number two. You pick this door very beautiful door. Now, your message is quite a message. Um, you know, there, there's definitely a, a mixed mixed messages here. We're going to go through all of them. But we'll start with your tarot cards. These are your tarot cards. You've got the six of coins and the page of coins. 
both of them came out reverse. So we have to look at these cards um, as it pertains to the shadow hidden within. Now, with the page of, of uh, pentacles reversed, you know, what we have here is a person. This is a person, uh, this is um, a, a, someone who's essentially trying to take something from you. And it doesn't have to be a man, it could be a woman, but ultimately, you know, we have here an, an illustration of a man. This is a very young man. Potentially, they're trying to offer you something of value in order to take from you. Um, you know, and, and what we have with mistletoe is that you might actually uh, find this person in the holidays. I got this intuitive, intuitive um, sense that you might meet this person very soon, but you're being asked to be careful, right? So again, this message, it has... A dual message. We've got um, essentially here an illustration of someone who you're being asked to be aware of. This is the kind of person that might take more than they give. And we have even a furthering of that kind of shadowy energy with the six of pentacles that showed up reverse. This is the scales tipping over and you losing something of value. Um, because it's being taken, right? It's being taken by this person here. So you are being asked to be careful. This is, again, for the year 2024. Um, if you run into an energy that's very immature, some well, you know, someone who doesn't work but is demanding of your attention, uh, always seems to be around, uh, you know, this is definitely someone that you might want to avoid uh, because they're not there to help you or aid you. Uh, they're there to take. And so with mistletoe, what we have here is not only an energy of maybe meeting someone during the holidays, but also what I'm seeing is magic, intentions being put forth, new adventures coming your way in the realm of progress. And what we have with the other Oracle card talking about the dragon, we have here somebody else coming into your life in the year, and it can, be, it can signal a time of growth with this person. This is the card uh, that tells you that in order for you to be able to attract who it is that you want or what it is that you want, you must be honest with yourself and honest with the people around you. Honesty. If you're someone who maybe, you know, enjoys lying or maybe you just compulsively lie to try and get yourself out of situations or maybe it's something that you find pleasing, this is not the year to do that. This is the year to come face to face with uh, yourself and be honest with what you want, who you are, where you're going and uh, voice your opinion in every possible way. And it comes from exploring your shadow. We have here the card of writing. This card reads, having an outlet to express one's thoughts leads to more clarity and awareness of oneself. Put pencil to paper. Explore your inner world. I am seeing a lot of shadows in this reading. If you pick this group, there's a lot of... Uh, I, I, maybe we, we can call them scars. Maybe we, we can just call them um, issues that need you need to work through, right? Well, that's why we have this card. And this message is very difficult to deliver, but it is definitely the card that tells you that for 2024, and if you want to make any progress in your life, you have to put pen to paper. You have to try and find what the issue is because it almost feels like, you know, if you don't fix this, if you don't really deal with this shadow, you're going to keep attracting these people, right? You're going to keep attracting this man. It's the same kind of man that just keeps showing up in your life again and again and again. Very sociopathic energy. These are the type of men that come to take, take, take until there's nothing left. And uh, the reason why you're kind of attracting them is because you're, you're putting that energy out there. Through something that you're doing, you are attracted to this energy. And so this energy is attracted to you. They want to take from you. And it almost feels like some of you are just allowing this to happen um, because there's there's definitely this kind of maybe even romanticized view of life or, or a person or a situation, um, you know, with the mistletoe showing up here. As we know, the mistletoe is uh, magic, right? A couples kiss under the mistletoe. So there's a sense here of a union between two. But again, being honest with yourself, being honest with the people around you, being honest with your journal, exploring and doing the shadow work, that is what's truly going to aid you and help you in 2024. Group number two.